I am deeply concerned about the finding of the recent IPCC report that states climate-induced disaster breaking records in the Himalayas. We have already lost one third of our glaciers. And scientists have warned that we are going to lose another, lose another one third by the end of this century. The Himalayas are the foundation of human civilization, ecosystem, and biodiversity. They are providing global service to the people and the planet and are the source of livelihoods of for billions of people downstream. Distinguished participants, I have strongly highlighted the repercussion of climate change in mountainous region and least developed country in all forum, including the 78th UNGA Climate Ambition Summit and COP28 in Dubai. As the chair of the LDCs, I urge the developed economy and the international community for more predictable and adequate and equitable resources and technology for LDCs. I emphasize the critical criticality of meeting the hundred billion dollar climate finance obligation, accelerating climate action through green climate fund and implementing the loss and damage fund in a manner that is easy to access and implement for the LDCs. I appreciate the, and thanks to the United Nations Secretary General, Mr. Antonio Guterres for his recent visit to Nepal, collecting first-hand information of the climate change impact from the local communities who are facing the climate crimes, crisis. Dear friends, Nepal is fully committed to the Paris Agreement. We are committed to achieving net zero greenhouse gas emission by 2045, five years earlier than the global target. We are fully committed to utilize our hydropower potential to secure clean energy and maintain 45% forest cover land. Recently, I unveiled the National Adaptation Plan and NDC Implementation Plan with a clear roadmap and strategy to promote climate resilient and sustainable development in Nepal. However, our attempts to implement climate change adaptation and mitigation plans are facing serious financial and technological gaps. Nepal needs additional resources to make our ecosystem and people resilient to climate change and ensure the implementation of local-led adaptation climate roadmap and programs. I strongly believe in the necessity of initiating dialogue among the parliamentarians and policy makers globally to advocate together for climate justice and to safeguard a sustainable future for ecosystem, people, and our planet. Dear friends, I would like to extend my sincere gratitude for your valuable presence and extend our sincere thanks to all those in attendance, including the honorable par parliamentarians from different countries. As you know that tremendous political changes were there in the last decade of in this country. Now, we are trying our best to create a political stability and create the atmosphere for economic construction. But this climate change issue is much sensitive and much terrible issue for our country.